Good afternoon, everybody. We are in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen with Mallory, Hi. and we are going to make a strawberry cheesecake poke cake today. We made this cake a few weeks ago, and it was absolutely delicious, but we didn't record that time. Now we're recording for all you guys to see, and maybe you can try it at your house. All right? So we're going to go over the ingredients. First of all, you're going to need everything you need to make a box strawberry cake. This, this recipe calls for um, the cake mix, of course, one cup of water, a half a cup of oil, and three eggs, which I've already got measured out. You're going to need two boxes of Jello Jello cheesecake um, Jello mix. You're going to need two boxes, and these are 3.4 ounce boxes. Instant pudding. Instant pudding. Yeah, what I say? Jello. <laughs> Jello instant pudding mix boxes. Packets. Okay, packets. Okay, you're going to need eight ounces of Cool Whip. We have a large tub. We're going to use half of it. Um, you're going to need some shortbread cookies, and you're also going to need four cups of milk. <laughs> Mouse got the giggles. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Begin with the cake. You probably need to... Yeah, there you go. Work, work smarter. She gave me the water first. All right, we have the one cup of water and the half a cup of oil already measured out in our cup. You got this, Mom. Yeah, I'm just functional. Ooh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. Did that smell? Don't forget to throw your eggs. Three eggs. Okay, the bake time on the back of the box says 34 to 38 minutes. So we usually go a little bit um, less than the box recommendation, so we're going to leave it up in about 30 minutes at 350 degrees. And we do have our oven preheating. That's pretty dangerous. <laughs> That's pretty dangerous. It's not getting the bottom. Don't put this in. You guys are getting to see the true Mallory today. The true Mallory. <laughs> you know, as your children get older, you just allow them to do things so they learn on their own. But, um, you know, sometimes you have to intervene. Because I don't think it's stirring the bottom of it. You guys get it? That's fine. Things got done. You should have kept the spatula. Oh. I don't think this is enough for this pan. Yeah. It's and it's runny. No, it's good. It's good batter. in there 30 minutes. Kind of shake it a little bit to get those air bubbles out. Right. 350 degrees for 30 minutes and we'll be back. So I just got finished. Time is well. So we're going to take it out of the oven and let it sit for five minutes. Okay so it has cooled for five minutes and now we're going to poke holes in it which is why it's called a poke cake. Um, we poke holes in it because so the the instant pudding mix will seed down in the holes. Put in a little more than probably I should, but okay. 
Dios. That's it. All right. Okay, guys, so while the cake is cooling, we are going to make the pudding mix. I'm going to put the two cheesecake put instant puddings and four cups of milk. The pudding mix is thickening. I'll let it go for just a few more minutes. It smells delicious though. It does smell good. Oh, that girl cannot wait to eat this. <laughs> okay, so the pudding mix is finished. The consistency is just about perfect. You don't want it to be too thin and you don't want it to be too, too thick. So I'm going to get it out. Can you hand me that plate right there? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pour it all over the cake. I'm going to spread it out, make sure all the cheesecake pudding is in the hole and all around the cake. I think Charlie smells it. <laughs> hey, buddy. All right, now what we do? We let it sit for two hours in the refrigerator. All right, well, let's get to it. It's refrigerated for two hours. It's been a long two hours. We've done some yard work and we've done some planting. Play some tennis. Play some tennis. It's been a long two hours, but we are ready for this. So now um, the cake is layered and now the pudding and then the top is... Eight ounces of whipped cream. Eight ounces of whipped cream. That's right. And I went ahead and got the bigger tub because we really like whipped cream around here, so we might we might go a little bit over eight ounces. We're gonna see. I think that's eight ounces, I think. I'm gonna try it. Not so not. You have to be careful. It's still frozen. Oh, that's all right. You just leave it. You spread what you can out. This is so awkward. What do you mean awkward? Don't. You do it. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna mess it up. It looks so good. I think we're gonna need more. I mean, that's eight ounces. Are you sure? Yeah. That's the frozen, so get around it. Just use the whole sixteen. Just use the whole thing. Yeah, that's okay. We like I, whipped, I we think, like whipped cream. I don't think eight, eight ounces would have been enough. What do you think, pops? Pops has come for a visit during our two hour break. Just use it all. Okay, while she's finishing spreading that, we have um, a few shortbread cookies that we're going to spread across the top of it. I'm gonna go ahead and crush them up. Crush them up. Yeah, I think 16 ounces on it. Did you use the whole tub? Nope. Didn't use the frozen part. No, but it was about six, 16, wasn't it? Okay. So, so I say use the whole tub. What do you think, Pops? The whole tub? For sure. The whole tub, he said. We just have a little frozen chunk in the middle, but 
16 ounces. Okay. Now we're going to sprinkle some, or not sprinkle, whatever. Drizzle. Drizzle. There's the word. Drizzle some strawberry glaze. And this is my strawberry glaze. You can get strawberry glaze at, um, in the, at the store. Which I think that's enough. You don't want to overwhelm it. And it is a strawberry. <laughs> I think we just used eight ounces of whipped cream last time, but this this is maybe it's maybe this is a bigger maybe we used a smaller pan last time. Anyway, yeah, go ahead and sprinkle it over there. We probably used a smaller pan last time yeah. and just had a thicker cake. Right. Now you can use any kind of cookies. I I believe vanilla wafers would probably be good on top too, but we're using shortbread cookies. For hours. I'm put some other crumbs on it. I'm putting a little bit left in there anyway. <laughs> There's just a lot of big chunks up there. <laughs> okay, now you want to cut it? Yes. Okay, I'll show me a thing or two. I'm just going to cut a little piece of it. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. All right. I get a show them a close up of it. I'm having it now. There you go. Come closer. <laughs> you wanna, you I want to be the first one to try or pop scan. So. Pops? Well, we had it last time, so you can eat it. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Here, let me get you. Come on, Pops. Step on up. Come on. It's okay to run a wheel off. Yeah, just a bite. <laughs> what do you think? Too much cool wheel. Too much? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Is it good? Yeah, it's real good. That's the first time you had it, isn't it? Yeah. All right, guys. That's it. Strawberry cheesecake poke cake. That's almost hard to say. Let us know if you try it at your house.